Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what are three things you can do to significantly enhance your chances of getting the love that you want this year, well, stick around because I'm going to be sharing them with you on my episode today. Hello and welcome to your great life to you that come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. I've been out of the video recording <laughs> business for, for some time. I didn't record pretty much any video in December and I, this is the first video I recorded in 2018. So I thought an appropriate theme uh, with this first video of 2018 is what are specific actionable steps you can take to get the love you want this year, even if you didn't get last year. Step number one, part number one of this three-step process is to understand, to get a clear, precise, concise idea of what has been stopping you from getting the love you want before. Here's why this is a big challenge, because I talk to thousands of women, and every week I talk to at least maybe a dozen women who are interested in finding the love they want, and when I ask them why, what's preventing you from getting the love that you want, 95% of the answers are not true. They are the superficial level answer that doesn't really take into account the depth of why that woman's not finding the love she wants. So I'll, I'll just mention a few to you right now in case you're thinking this is it, that are not the true reason why you're not getting what you want. Number one would be, I just haven't met him. Well, ultimately, at a high level truth, it's true you haven't met him, but why haven't you met him? Because Saying that you haven't found your soulmate, you say you're 40 years old, or you're 35 years old, or older, and you haven't found your soulmate because you haven't met the guy, is like saying, well, the person that's uh, in the street, basically, uh, bleeding to death, died because the heart stopped. Well, ultimately, the heart stops. But why did the person's heart stop? Well, because it was run over by a, <laughs> a tow truck, right? That's the real reason. So for you... Haven't met the guy means that you probably haven't put yourself out there enough, that you've put yourself out there with a, with a kind of energy that doesn't get you what you want, that perhaps you have more fear than excitement to get the results you want because you want to get the soulmate, but if you get it, you have to be vulnerable emotionally, physically, spiritually naked, and that scares you because you feel like you're less than him. So there's so many different reasons why, 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 you don't, why you get stuck, but you haven't met him is not one of them. Another one that is not it is the place where I live. Yes, I understand if you live in a town that has two human beings, well, probably that, that's a big contributing factor, but I, I, I can tell you that I connect with women in large cities, New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Mexico City, Tokyo, or small cities, and they all say, well, it's because of the place where I'm at. You know what? In your city, there are men and women falling in love and getting married every day of the year. So if that is true, that means that you can, that even though that might be a contributing factor, it's not the true source of not getting what you want. Because why? Because if you're super hungry to get the love that you want, not desperate, hungry, then you go to the neighboring city. If it's an hour away, an hour and a half away, you still make it there a few times so you can create interactions with guys. Uh, another reason that is common, but is not the true cause of why women don't have what they want, would be when somebody tells me, hey, uh, there's no good guys out there, or all the guys are married, or all the guys are gay, or at my age, it's hard. Uh, here's what I have to say. Those things might be have some level of truth. I wasn't born yesterday, so I know that some things have some, but it's not the true source, and until you find the true cause, you won't be able to change it. And if you can't change it, then you're stuck in this rut race, this hamster wheel of love, doing all of these things without getting the result. So that's the first thing you need to be able to address in order to get the love you want. Understand the root reason why you haven't been able to get it. Step number two. Okay, step number two of this is understand what is it that you have to do above and beyond what you've done before in order to get it. Because it's a cool thing to figure out, okay, here's the true reason why I haven't found the love that I want, but so what? Now, now that you understand it, how are you going to change it? Maybe you need coaching, maybe you need books, maybe you need an extra program, maybe you need therapy. Figuring out what is it that you need to do above and beyond the call of duty in order to get what you want. What's the price to pay emotionally, spiritually, financially, uh, in terms of movement, so that you have a clear chance of getting what you want. Here's the worst thing, if, if you do the same things you've been doing, why on earth would you get a different result? Like some people say, well, online doesn't work. Well, online works 
but there's there's a right way and a wrong way to do it and uh, dating works but there's a right way and a wrong way to date to, if you what you want is long life a term commitment so understanding what is the price I must pay in terms of getting more uncomfortable, doing more than I was doing before, getting the right training or coaching in order to get the process kickstart. Third step in order to get what you want is you must be willing to have a knowing that despite the fact that you haven't gotten it, that it's absolutely possible for you to get it. Because if you think that it's something that if you feel, if you come to the place, bullshit place where you say, well, it's not on the cards for me, that's the easiest cop-out you could ever say. Uh, it's not on the cards for me. Because guess what? If it's not on the cards for you, you don't, have to, you don't have to do more. You don't have to go out. You don't have to be rejected. You don't have to get uncomfortable. You don't have to look pretty. You can just stay in your house eating cookies, drinking milk, and watching Netflix with a warm blanket and not have to do anything so long as it's not on the cards for you. So if you change from that, it's not on the cards for me, to understanding that it's absolutely possible, even if you've never gotten it to create it, then you stand a chance of getting what you want. Those are three very important, specific actions, steps, processes that you can take into account if you wanna find the love that you want this year. It's absolutely possible for us to be connecting next year and you say, hey, Bern, here's my ring, I'm getting engaged, or I'm engaged already, I'm getting married, or you know what, I was married at the end of the year. It's totally possible, but you can't get where you want to go based on where you've been. You have to be willing to step more, step up more, do more and open your heart more. Now, if you find this helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere up here on your screen, you're going to find a link that allows you to sign up to a free video that I am sharing with you that allows you to understand how you can create the love you want much faster and in an easier way than you ever thought possible. Not saying that it's easy, but it's easier than your current trajectory. <laughs> All you have to do is click on the link. You'll see a pop-up that allows you to put your name and email. Once you put those in, you'll, the video will start running and it's a 40 minute presentation that will get you way more clarity than you probably have before in terms of what you can do right now to get the love you want. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. Thank you so much for allowing my heart to connect with yours this year. I look forward to sharing so much goodness, so much greatness for you this year. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.